Hey there everybody, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. Now last time, I blogged Sophia's recent episode, The Mystic Isles, The Falcon Side, where Princess Sophia and Krista went to Wei Ling to stop a strangeling named Twitch from stealing a gem known as the Falcon's Eye that was hidden in Shan Yu's sword. With help from their friends, Princess June, Prince Jin, and a dancing panda named Kai, they saved the Falcon's Eye, but not too long after, the evil Prisma escaped the Protector's castle to search for the rest of the Wicked Nine in order to become extremely powerful. So, I guess you guys are asking, what's going to happen in the episode I'm going to blog today? Well, let's find out. Airing on Disney Junior on November 3rd, 2017, this is the Mystic Isles, The Great Pretender. Now let's get started. In this episode, Sophia holds an audition to find an animal helper for her alchemy presentation. Meanwhile, Prisma and Twitch are looking for one of the Wicked Nine that is hidden in a secret room at Royal Prep. So, what are my thoughts on this episode? Well, to me, this was another good episode, even though Sophia wasn't the main focus here, but it was still good nonetheless. But, let's move on to Mustang Notes. So, what are my thoughts on the animation? Well, in my opinion, the CGI animation looks great in this episode. And in some parts, it looks very twisted and dark. But, I'll explain why later. Now, let's talk about Royal Prep. Now, Royal Prep is a school run by Princess Aurora's aunts, the Three Good Fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, where princes and princesses go to learn various studies, particularly in royal etiquette, sports, arts, and magic. And during Sophia's time there, as the show progressed, she had to learn dancing, music, fencing, flying derby, Dazzle Ball, Enchanted Ice Skating, and Alchemy. In this episode, there is a passage that is hidden in the fairy's office. Inside that passage is where a spinning wheel, another one of the Wicked Nine, is kept. The only way to get through the passage is to light a candle with dragon fire and play on an organ to open a passageway through a fireplace. By the way... Before this episode aired, I kind of figured that one of the Wicked Nine would be hidden at Royal Prep, since Maleficent is Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether's rival, and my childhood nightmare. What's more, the secret passageway to the spinning wheel resembles the one from Sleeping Beauty, where Maleficent lured Aurora to where she got cursed. Boy, did that scene give me nightmares. Now, the moral of this episode is any problems can be overcome if you know how to have confidence. In my opinion, that can be a really tough moral to go through, especially if you had a long monologue to memorize for theater or a speech to give for class. Now, here's where we come to the song featured in this episode, Learn This Rhyme, sung by Wormwood, while he teaches Clover about a few magical ingredients. To me, this song and the lyrics are very twisted, with the magical items looking bigger, especially with Jim Cummings singing it, while Clover is trying to memorize everything. Also, this song makes me think of your only second rate from The Return of Jafar. Anyway, now that we got Mustang notes out of the way, Let's move on to the characters and their voice actors. Princess Sophia is once again voiced by Ariel Winter, who has been in Modern Family, 
Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Speed Racer, Bambi 2, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, and Smurfs the Lost Village. In this episode, Sophia chooses to make dragon fire for her alchemy class and has to find an animal that can be her assistant. She hopes that Clover can be her helper, but other animals like Mia, Robin, Whatnot, Praline, Frito, Ginger, Jasper, Rex, and others are interested. Also to note, this is the fourth time Sophia wears her sorceress outfit, followed by episodes like Cedric's Apprentice, The Enchanted Feast, and Day of the Sorcerers. Our main character, Clover, is voiced by Wayne Brady, who has been in Phineas and Ferb, Clifford's really big movie, and ugh, Food Fight. <clears throat> anyway, out of any animal that Sophia is friends with, Clover is my absolute favorite. Plus, he can be really funny at times. However, in this episode, while Clover wants to be Sophia's animal helper, it was hard for him to remember each magical ingredient to make dragon fire. Next we have Cedric's Raven, Wormwood. Voiced by Jim Cummings. Nowadays, Wormwood is not doing anything evil or trying to steal Sophia's amulet anymore, now that Cedric is a reformed sorcerer. Anyway, in this episode, even though he and Clover don't get along, Wormwood tries to teach Clover a rhyme to help him identify the ingredients. However, Clover has trouble remembering everything, and after so many tries, Wormwood gets so fed up that he kicks Clover out of the room. Next up we have Merlin, the world's most powerful wizard in Disney history, voiced by veteran voice actor Jeff Bennett. Now, everyone knows Merlin from the 1963 movie, the Sword in the Stone, and he has appeared in a few episodes on the show since his debut in Gone with the Wand. In this episode, Merlin is a guest teacher for alchemy class at Royal Prep. Merlin explains that all top wizards have animal helpers to help with all sorts of useful things, such as fetching ingredients, stirring ingredients, and opening scrolls. In my opinion, Merlin's role in this episode is very interesting, since his magic is used for educational purposes. Also, it's cool that his owl, Archimedes, has a small appearance in this episode, but unfortunately, he doesn't speak like he did in Sword in the Stone. Next, we have our evil fugitive, Prisma, once again voiced by Megan Hilty. who I saw as Glinda in Wicked, and voiced Rosetta in three of the Tinkerbell movies, and China Princess in Legends of Oz. In this episode, Prisma is planning to steal a spindle from Royal Prep, but can't enter the passage without Dragonfire. Next we have Prisma's servant, Twitch, also voiced by Jeff Bennett. In this episode, Prisma suggests that Twitch be Sophia's animal helper, so he disguises himself as a weasel and covers up his diamond pattern with a handkerchief. Twitch does do a good job during the tryouts, but fortunately, Sophia rejects him. But later, Twitch does offer to coach Clover while he's disguised as a chameleon, and tells him which ingredients are correct to make dragon fire. And after Clover and Sophia successfully make the dragon fire during class, Twitch, in the form of a hawk, 
swoops in and steals it. Finally, the Locket of Vore is once again voiced by Patty Lombard. Best known from the Missing Persons TV series. In this episode, the Locket tells Prisma that one of the Wicked Nine, the Spindle, is hidden in a secret room at Royal Prep. Now, while the Locket did present Maleficent's staff as part of the Wicked Nine, it's heavily suggested that the staff was transformed into the spinning wheel. Now, I already said that the locket is similar to the magic mirror from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but I have a feeling the locket could be using Prisma, kind of like the evil spirit from the Care Bears movie, or the Book of Cartoon from Aladdin the Animated Series. But anyway, let's move on my final words. Overall, The Mystic Isles, The Great Pretender is a good episode, despite the fact that Sophia is not the main character in this. But despite that, the animation is still pretty good, though sometimes a bit dark and twisted. Merlin's role in this episode is very interesting, plus Clover has gotten a lot of development as a character. And even though he cheated, thanks to Twitch's help, I'm glad that Clover has become Sophia's animal helper for the rest of the semester. Also, since Sophia has saved two of the Wicked Nine from Prisma's clutches so far, there is now seven left to find. But I wonder where they could be. Could one of them be underwater in Meraway Cove? Could one be in Tengu? I guess we'll have to find out in the future. Anyway, my rating for this episode will be an 89% out of 100. Well, that's all for today, everybody. Be sure to join me for my next blog. Mustang Power.